Hey, what's up guys? This is Atlantis Refurbished, back again with another video, and today we're going to be talking about how certain foods can raise or lower your vibration. Um, so to start off, everything in the universe is composed of energy, frequency, and vibration. Um, depending upon what the item is, the vibration will be different, um, either higher or lower. Uh, some things are dense and have a low vibration, like steel, to the point that it appears solid. Um, other things like water vapor are vibrating very quickly, making them visibly appear unsolid. Um, the level of energy is high in the steam and low in the steel. Uh, this goes for every single object, emotion, thought, and material in the universe, including food and our bodies. Um, anything that we ingest, whether it be chemicals, food, supplements, drugs, etc., um, all of these will change our body's level of vibration, either positively or negatively. Um, when you are at a high vibration emotionally, you feel closer to love, joy, peace, and enlightenment. When you are at a low vibration emotionally, you feel closer to negativity, shame, guilt, and fear. Um, so obviously, everybody would ideally want to be at a high vibrational state of, a high vibrational state of energy or emotion. Um, however, many people are not aware of the fact that when they are what they are around and what they ingest is playing like a huge role in how high or low their vibration is. Um, one of the main things that people are unaware of in this category is what they are eating. Um, some foods are dense and low vibrational, um, while some foods are light and high vibrational. Uh, the more light foods you ingest into your body, the more that you will feel close to close to a state of joy. Um, the more dense, low vibrational, light lacking foods that you ingest, uh, the more likely it is that you will feel negative and dull emotionally. Um, so keep in mind that, just like really quickly, that it does take a lot more than just good or bad food um, to put you in a positive or negative state of vibration. It just helps um, to eat high vibrationally and avoid dense foods at a high rate of vibration or avoid dense foods at a low that have a low rate of um, vibration. Um, some foods that are light foods though are plants, greens, beans, lentils, potatoes, um, nuts, avocados, fruit, and other things like that that um, grow from the sun. Um, they are easy to di digest, are easier or more healthy for your organs, and are full of light photons from the sun, um, all working together to raise your vibrational state of energy. Um, then there's dense foods like meat, fish, and any packaged sugar-filled food um, that's processed, um, and these are devoid of light and contain the energy of death, which means no energy. Um, this means they contain little to no vibration, meaning when they are eaten, your vibration will either stay the same or become lower due to the fear that the animal went through during death or due to feeling a sugar crash and feeling lower emotionally. Um, light is life. Dense is death. Um, life is joy, peace, and enlightenment. Death is negativity, fear, shame, and guilt. Um, so obviously it is highly recommended to eat plant-based if you are trying to feel light and be in a better mood. Um, but if you insist on eating meat and other dense foods, it is recommended that you use some of these methods or use some methods of raising your vibration um, to help negate the negative effects that eating that vibration of death could bring to you um, emotionally. Um, some of these methods include... Um, like a few videos that I'm going to go over from the YouTube channel Dream Seeds. Um, what Dream Seeds is, is it's a YouTube channel that uses um, frequency, frequency and sound waves to change how you feel emotionally and change your emotional or spiritual state of being. Um, so the videos that I'm going to share help to raise your vibration um, by listening to them um, and help to sort of negate some of the lower emotional effects that eating meat would bring to you. Um, the first video that I recommend is Dream Seeds, Raise Your Vibrational State of Energy. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. What it'll do is it will, if you are in a lower state of emotional vibration and you listen to it a few times, um, you'll feel less dense, like that low vibrational dense emotion where you feel heavy when you're depressed or heavy when you're negative. 
Um, it'll like raise and make you feel lighter emotionally and just help you to feel better overall. Um, and sort of like, once again, negate the effect that eating too much of those dense packaged um, meat type foods, um, how they will dull your emotions a little bit. Um, that'll help you to like rise back up. Um, so that's why I recommend that video. Um, the next one, and this, once again, the best way is just to not eat those things and avoid them. Um, but if you do happen to eat them or you just don't want to give them up, um, these videos will help to at least like negate the effect a little bit. Um, the next thing I'd recommend is Dream Seeds White Light Waves. Um, this, what this video does is infuse you with the energy of purity, um, which obviously like a dead animal's like sort of like blood, like it's just unpure. Um, sugar and man, anything that man makes is unpure, but anything from nature um, that is not dead is like a lot more pure. So when you're eating these unpure foods, it's going to lower your own body's emotional purity, um, which is like a, obviously going to make you feel better. Like when your emotions that are closer to purity are like joy, peace, love, enlightenment, um, negativity and anger, uh, that's an unpure way of thinking. You're thinking about being mad about something or your thoughts aren't clear, they're unpure. Um, that's what those negative dense foods will do to you if you eat too many of them is they will contribute towards that negative emotional mood um, that is unpure in nature. Um, so to help sort of like negate that effect, um, you could use Dream Seeds White Light Waves and what that'll do is if you do have some of that like impurity in your thought processes, it'll help to push it out. Um, once again, the best way being to just do more pure things. One of those things would be to not eat those foods. Um, but if you do insist on it, that will like at least help a little bit. Um, and also once again, like if you eat like a piece of meat, you're not your whole mood or whole like spirituality is not going to be ruined. Um, or like occasionally have like a piece of cake or something like with sugar. Um, but if you eat it too much, like you're, that's all you're eating. All you're eating constantly is like foods that are terrible for you um, and things that are devoid of like a high vibration, then that's gonna contribute towards your emotions. And obviously, ideally you would want your emotional state to be like a higher emotional state, not like a depressed emotional state. So um, it's just recommended to not do it in the first place, but these videos will help. Um, the next video that's probably the most recommended for this specific video is Dream Seeds Food Charger and Enhancer. Um, if you play this on speaker next to your food before you eat it, even if it is already like good food or light food, um, it'll help to raise the vibration of that food and also if other people were touching it or handling it before it got to you, um, cleanse it of the energy of that person, which could also be low vibrational depending on who was handling it. Um, if they were in a negative state, everything we touch, our auras rub off on everything. Um, that's why when you're around negative people, it brings you down. When you're around positive people, it brings you up. Um, that's the same thing with these foods. The more positive foods you eat, the more it's going to bring you up. The more negative foods you eat, the more it's going to bring you down. Um, but what Dream Seeds Food Charger and Enhancer will do is raise the vibration of any food that you eat, even those foods that are like sort of like dense or just kind of empty of any vibration. Um, they're just like dead meat, literally just sitting there. Um, so it'll at least add some vibration to it and, you know, make it that effect of like emotional numbing and dulling of your emotions go down a little bit. Um, so I would highly recommend that video. It also just makes it taste better. The food charger raises the vibration, but the food enhancing part of the video um, actually kind of makes it taste better. It's pretty weird, but it does work. Um, so if it's already a food that you like, just play it anyway. Um, it doesn't have to be just the bad foods, it just enhances it in general. Uh, moving on though, the next video that I'll recommend, it's probably one of the, probably the second highest recommended after the food charger, um, would be Dream Seeds Energy Blockage Removal. Um, what Dream Seeds Energy Blockage Removal will do is get rid of blockages in your energy body and what happens when you eat, um, and your, by the way, your energy body is like your chakras if you've heard of those, but all you really need to know for this video is that 
Um, your energy body or your chakras store all your food, all of your emotions. And if you're eating too much of this negative food that's like devoid of light, um, you're going to have more emotional, more or it's going to be more likely that you have more emotional blockages. Um, it's also like when you like binge on terrible food while you're eating it, it feels good. Um, but afterward, you feel sort of guilty that you ate that much or something like along those lines. You're like, oh, like I need to, like you're gaining weight from it, too much weight from it. Um, or something like that. Um, the, what that does is when you feel that negative emotion a little later on, that's creating a slight blockage in your energy. Um, when your energy is open, you're positive, it's free flowing, you feel like you're going with the flow. Um, an example of, in this case of a negative emotion or an energy blockage would be like, once again, binging on that food and then being feeling guilty about it later. Rather than being happy um, and feeling positive, you're now having to like waste some of your thinking on like the feeling of guilt or just being like just annoyed that you feel bad from like feeling bloated or like if you like you ate a ton of like sugar and yeah you're like having a sugar crash. Um, whenever you don't feel your best, you're having at least a slight energy blockage. Um, so what energy blockage removal will do? is if you're eating too many of those negative foods or you just have negative blocked emotions in general, um, regardless of what you're eating, um, it'll help to clear out all that energy through your um, emotional body, your chakras, and allow you to feel like your energy is flowing more. Um, and when your energy is flowing more, it's just easier to let things go. Um, your mind is more um, clear, you're more clear-minded. Um, you generally just feel lighter emotionally um, when you have all these blockages. Uh, that's what depression is. It's an emotional blockage. You don't love yourself or something along those lines. Um, or just like other reasons, um, like past traumas. Um, all of those, past traumas, depression, low energy, low emotions, dense emotions, those are all energy blockages. So um, I would highly recommend using Dream Seeds energy blockage removal just to like get rid of some of those and just feel lighter overall. Um, and in the case of this video, help to negate the negative energy blockaging, energy blockage type effects that you will get from eating too much of that bad food. Um, once again, you're not going to like be, have your emotional state's not going to go terrible from eating a piece of meat or something like that. But if you do it too much, it will have like a compound effect. Um, and over time you will feel, you won't feel as good as you could if you weren't eating them. Uh, moving on is the last video, however, and it's going to be Dream Seeds Unstoppable Willpower. Um, and the reason I recommend this video is just to increase your willpower to eat the correct foods um, so that you don't even have to use these other methods or just have a lower vibrational emotional state. Um, obviously, ideally, you want to feel the best that you can feel or possibly feel. Um, obviously, like, you're not always going to feel great, but just because like life also throws things at you, but there's also a lot of scenarios where it's actually in our hands and we choose to do the wrong thing or choose to do the thing that lowers our vibration. So I would recommend just using unstoppable willpower because it will increase your willpower to make the right choice, even though it might not be the one that tastes as good to you um, or something along those lines. Um, and just, generally um, keep you on a path that is of a higher vibration. Um, but that was all that I needed to go over on the videos. Uh, now I'm going to go over a quick summary of what I talked about. Um, so basically in summary, certain foods are either full of light um, or devoid of light. Um, they're either high vibrational or low vibrational. Um, and when they aren't ingested, whether they are high or low vibrational, they will affect your own body's level of vibration emotionally. Um, ideally, you would pick the light-filled foods, but if you can't or you just don't really want to, um, Dream Seeds offer some ways to help retain your mood and retain or even raise your state of vibration. Um, but yeah, Soul Family, that is all that I wanted to go over today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit like and just remember to be mindful of what you are eating. Uh, because everything you ingest will change your energy. Everything you think will change your energy. Um, peace and have a great day full of healthy eating. See you guys next time.